The case against former planning PS Peter Mangiti and NY's Director General Nesol Gedinji will be heard on 23rd, 24th and 26th March next year. This is after the accused persons appeared in court and pleaded not guilty to the charges. In the case, Mangiti, Gedinji and others are accused of attempting to dissuade Senior Deputy Director General Adanaraki, who is in charge of NY's administration, from reporting a conspiracy to steal 695 million shillings. The two were charged alongside 24 other suspects, including businessman Josephine Kaburairungu. Our three companies form Oms Builders, Reinforced Concrete Technology, and Roof and All Trading reportedly received 791 million shillings of NYS funds. They were accused of committing the offenses on different dates between December 1, 2014 and June 5, 2015. Meanwhile, the magistrate's court has given former finance minister David Muraria 10 days to appear in court. This is after the court received Muraria's medical report from current hospital. The court will on the 7th of December decide on how the case will proceed if he does not appear in court. Senior Principal Magistrate Felix Combo had yesterday summoned Miraria to court to appear today to plead to Anglo leasing charges. Elsewhere, border border riders have moved to the High Court, challenging the decision by Nairobi County government banning them from operating within the city centre. They argue that the move is a threat to their businesses and has potential of rendering them as beggars. They were were ordered by the court to serve their petition to the respondents. Finally, a petition seeking to stop Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Kayseri from demarcating the disputed Meru Isiolo boundary will be heard this Friday. In the case, the Attorney General argues that the petition by Isiolo elders is premature, adding that the CS is geared towards restoring peace in the area. Through lawyer George Keithy, the residents want the court to quash the decision on the Meru Isiolo boundary dispute committee.